And now stay tuned for PTG TV's Pulse on America, where we bring you the latest in educational, consumer, sports, and business information that's right for your lifestyle. Welcome to this edition of Pulse on America. I'm Wayne Stavsky. A recent Gallup poll named wine as America's most preferred alcoholic beverage. With the variety of specialty wines coming out, wine collecting is no longer a hobby reserved to elite connoisseurs. Today, we're going to get some advice on how to best store our prized vintage treasures. Our first guest joins us from his showroom in North Salt Lake, Utah. Jeff Ogzwala is owner and president of Wine Racks America, and he joins us now. Welcome to the program, Jeff. Thank you, Wayne. It's good to be here. First of all, why do people collect wine? Well, for some it's a hobby, and for others it's an investment. For hobbyists or those that drink what they buy, drinking properly aged wine is the hobby. It is the reward because the flavors in the wines won't reach their peak until they've been stored properly. For investors, the benefit comes from buying young wines, storing them properly, and then selling them at their peak. Where is the best place to store wine? You kind of want to simulate an old cave in France, which is where some of the first good wines were stored. Climate is very important. Most people locate their wine cellars below ground, like in a basement, because the earth stabilizes the temperature year round. When someone really gets into wine collecting, building a dedicated wine cellar is the next step. Interest in wine collection has skyrocketed during the last decade, and having a space specifically for wine storage is all the rage in restaurants, remodeling projects, and new home construction. Putting together the perfect wine cellar is more than just putting up a few racks in the basement. Our next guest is the in-house designer for Wine Racks America, and he is constantly called upon for his expertise in designing wine cellars. Chris Bender, welcome to the program. Pleasure to be here, Wayne. Okay, here I am. I want to set up a wine cellar in my home, but have no clue how to get started. What are some of the things I should consider? Since what you're building amounts to a large walk-in refrigerator, you need to ask some of the following questions. Will my space be above or below ground? What's the climate like in my region? Do I have any walls that face the sun? Answering these questions will get you started in the right direction. A vapor barrier and good insulation are also key. Your insulation needs to be R19 or greater. All windows and doors also need to be exterior grade with high R values. Next, we'll get you started with a proper cooling system for your area, as well as a preliminary wine rack layout. What's the best type of wood to use for wine racks? It really comes down to a matter of your taste and your budget. We build our racks using premium Northern California redwood, as well as clear, not free, western pine. Redwood has always been the traditional wine cellar wood because it stands up well to the moist environment found in a wine cellar and is not prone to decay or rotting. In addition to the racks, what else will I need for my wine cellar? A cooling unit, perhaps a custom wine cellar door. Your lighting should be below ceiling, track style, or rope lighting. Some of our customers will also include a tasting table along with a glass rack so they can open a bottle of wine and enjoy it right there in their cellar. One of the most important features of a good wine cellar is its cooling system. Cooling units help maintain consistent temperature and humidity levels, which wine needs in order to achieve its best results while being stored. Here's something I've always wanted to know about storing wine. Why do the experts recommend storing bottles on their side? Why not just store it upright like you would a bottle of liquor? Believe it or not, Wayne, there is a legitimate reason for storing wine on its side. You need to keep the corks wet. If the corks dry out, oxygen can get into the bottle and ruin the wine. Thanks for joining us on the program today. My pleasure. Thank you. And if you would like to learn more about how to set up the perfect wine cellar, you can visit Wine Racks America online at www.wineracksamerica.com. That's all for this edition of Pulse on America. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wayne Stofsky. Be sure to tune in at 24 or 54 minutes past the hour for more Pulse on America stories. Stay tuned. CNN Headline News is next.